Let's talk about some basic care with your scanner. First, we're going to discuss unplugging your scanner from the wall. While the Itero Element 2 scanner does have the backup battery, which allows you to unplug while the scanner's running, the Itero Element 1 does not. So you do have to make sure before you unplug an Itero Element 1 to quickly press and release the power button on the monitor and then make sure that you take the plug from the wall and pull it rather than pulling from the center of the cord. For care of your wand, regardless what model scanner that you have for iTero, we need to make sure that the scanner is powered off before unplugging or plugging the wand in. With the wand and the cord, we want to make sure that the cord is hanging freely and not twisted or tangled. So if it is, you can always untangle it by turning the wand accordingly. With the wand, also, we do have our air vents here at the top and the bottom. So make sure that when we're scanning, we're not holding our hand on top of the vents to prevent the wand from overheating. For care of your wand, make sure that we have a sleeve on your wand at all times. So when we're scanning, we know that we do have your white sleeve on, but when we're not scanning, always make sure that your blue protective sleeve is placed on the wand to prevent anything from getting on that inner lens. With the inside lens, double check to make sure that we don't have any smudges or fingerprints or perhaps maybe any wipes that got on that inside lens because it will affect the quality of your images. So if you ever do have any smudges on that inside lens and every box of sleeves, we provide a lens cloth that you can use dry to rub away any smudge that may occur. To disinfect your scanner, first tap on the lock icon. This will prevent you from unintentionally opening up any of the icons while you're disinfecting. So first, I'm going to start with our wand. Everything is meant to get wiped down on the scanner. So we can wipe the wand down all the way down through the cord. I could wipe down the holder for the wand and the handles as well. In addition, I'm also going to wipe down my monitor. And then last, I'm going to replace my blue protective sleeve back on the wand until I'm ready to start scanning again. We're going to cover the small icons on the screen that are going to be helpful when you're using your iTero Element Scanner. First, we're going to start with the Help Overlay, we're which is your question mark at the top right. When you tap on the overlay, you're going to notice that it will give you a description of what all the items on the screen are for, and that's going to be helpful as you get used to all the different areas in the software. You'll notice also that we do have this headset. When you tap on the headset, that will give you uh, the team viewer ID number and password that you would provide the Align Technology representative to remote into your scanner. We also have the option of setting your preferences for your scanner in the settings icon. The settings icon is the gear. So in the settings icon, we always can go to the Wi-Fi, check the status of your connection. In addition to that, we have our signature settings and just make sure that the doctor has their signature and license number in this area. In the RX settings, you can set your Tooth ID uh, number in here. Along with the shade system, we do have the Vita Lumen as the default, but you can drop down and switch to the 3D Master or other. Next in the scan settings, I'm going to cover some settings here that will make it a little bit easier uh, when you are scanning. So we have our gyro orientation and the touchpad orientation. Um, they are defaulted to have the wand tip toward the screen. To make it easier to use your gyro fe feature in the wand, you'll want to drop down and change it so it says wand base toward screen. That'll make it easier for when you use your wand to rotate the model and then move throughout the different segments. Also, You'll notice that there is an option to show the color while you're scanning, so if you prefer to see your model in color while you're scanning, you can set that in here. And then down below for the restorative jaw order, uh, typically you'll see that the restorative order will be set to the opposite jaw first. You can drop down and then choose it to prep jaw first, just depending on what's best for your office. 
Last, we have sync configuration. So whenever any changes are made to your scanner, for example, if you wanted to add another doctor or lab to your scanner, first you would reach out to Align Technology so we could apply those changes. And then for you to see the changes updated on the scanner, just tap on our sync configuration. And then once the circles are complete, then your scanner is updated. Next, we're going to talk about the lock icon. So when I tap on lock, this allows me to do three things. First, it lets me switch the user that I'm going to be scanning under. So to do that, I can tap on the blue drop-down arrow, and then you'll see that I have the option of selecting the doctor. In addition, a lot of times offices like to lock the screen in between patients just for privacy. Last, when you're disinfecting the scanner, when wiping down the monitor, a lot of times people will prefer to tap on that lock icon just so you don't unintentionally start opening up some of the other icons while you're wiping down the monitor. We also have some great resources in our Learning Center. So in our Learning Center, we have the graduation cap at the top. And in here, you can choose if you're going to be looking at the orthodontic or restorative portion. So first we have the online training. That's the full training of the scanner, hardware, software. Now we also have the training video. So if you just want to watch a video of a complete case being scanned, you can go there. Now over to the right, we have the new features. So whenever we update the software, we will update the presentation in the new features area. So I always like to you know, let offices know that when you do see that message on the, on the home screen, that we have updated the software, go ahead and look at that new features presentation so that you'll know how to start using those features right away. Now in the middle we have some additional training videos. So on the scanner we have a lot of great tools and features um, and what we, uh, what we did with all the additional training videos was basically broke down every single tool and feature and we put them into short videos so you can easily learn or maybe get refreshed on how to use them. And then to get back, I can just tap on the back option and that will get me back to the Learning Center. To completely exit the Learning Center, we can tap on the blue arrow at the top left corner. Your iTero Element Scanner has a demo mode. So to access the demo mode, we can tap right on the iTero Element logo. With the demo mode, we will have the login. You can drop down and choose one of our defaulted doctor names. And what's nice about demo is that it allows you to look into some practice cases and, and run some of the tools and features, as well as do any scanning that you don't intend on sending. So one of the things, uh, just to show you as far as our cases that we already have preloaded, those are located in our patients icon. So if you ever did want to you know, run some of our features like time lapse or maybe the Invisalign Outcome Simulator and just become more familiar with that, you can do all of that while in demo. You'll notice that when you go to practice scanning for demo, the screen will look a little bit different. So as I go to start a new case, When we are in the scanning screen for demo, you'll see that the background will be some stripes in the back, some uh, blue and white stripes. So that will be your reminder that this case will not be able to be submitted. Next, we're going to go into the large icons. Now I put the scanner into demo mode, so if you did want to do the same thing with your scanner and follow along, it'll be easier. Now I'm going to start with the patient's icon first. This icon is probably the one of the icons you're going to use the most. This patient's icon is basically a cloud that's going to hold all of your scans. So every patient that you scan, they're going to receive their own folder. Within that folder, you can locate and view all the scans that you've done for them here in this one location. So when we look at our patient list, um, there's a couple different ways if you wanted to search for your patients. We have our search bar if you wanted to type the patient's name in and then tap on the blue magnifying glass. Or if you wanted to alphabetize the list, you can tap on that blue header patient name and that would change it in alphabetical order. Now there is an option uh, for a chart number. So whenever you are filling out an Rx for a new patient that hasn't been scanned yet before, 
it's always recommended to put in a chart number in the event that you ever do have multiple patients with the same name so that that scan will get, uh, get into the correct folder for the patient. So for example, we do have our patient, I'm gonna go into our demo toothwear patient. So now we're in their folder. And over to the right, we have the orders. So all scans that you've started and sent for this patient will be listed here in the orders area. Now with each order, you have uh, multiple options. So for example, if you do scan a patient for a, a full arch scanning, like an eye record or um, Invisalign, Invisalign plus eye record, you'll have the option to view the RX, view the model. You can run the Invisalign outcome simulator. We also have the option to run the progress assessment and the add RX feature as well. Now, in addition to that, we do have the option here for a new scan. So if your patient is coming in for a new scan and you've already scanned them before, pull them up here in the patient's icon, tap on new scan, and then that's gonna start a new RX, fill out their name, chart number, so that when you send this scan, it's guaranteed to come back into that folder and then join the rest of their scans. So you can see that here. Now I'm just gonna go back to our patient's icon. Now in our patient's icon, this is the only area where you can run the time-lapse software. So for time-lapse, you'll notice next to each scan that we have, we can check mark the box. So when we have check marked any two scans for your patient, this compare selected option opens up. And when I tap on the compare selected option, this will run time-lapse. So time-lapse is nice because it lets you compare any two scans for your patients and the software is going to highlight areas in the anatomy where change has occurred. So wherever we do see change, we're going to see some color coding on the teeth varying from yellow to red just depending on how significant that change is. So when we're looking here at this patient, we do have some change uh, right on the molar. So if you wanted to compare the two scans with time-lapse, take the magnifying glass and we can drag it right on top of that tooth. And now you can see the two images toggle back and forth. Uh, you'll, you will notice that it will highlight the dates, so it'll be easy for you to uh, differentiate that and explain that with your patient. So with time lapse, a lot of uh, offices are using this feature to show their pa patient's tooth wear or recession or tooth movement as well. Now to exit, I can tap on my top left corner and that will bring me back to the patient's icon. Now to go back to the home screen, I could tap on my blue arrow and then my home screen icon again and that will close me out. Under the patient's icon, you're going to see that we have your messages. Now your messages won't be specific to your office or your cases, but instead they're more announcements from Align Technology. So there are a couple of really common messages that you'll see come through. Uh, one of them will be whenever we have a webinar scheduled. You'll be able to read what the webinar is about and register for it in there. Also, whenever we have any software updates, we always provide the release notes. So you can stay on top of those changes and then know how to use them and be ready for them when they come. Moving on, we have our orders. Now you're gonna see that we have a number one in that orders, our badged icon. That's a reminder that we have one case that's still pending that we haven't sent yet. So in our orders, we do come in here just to check the status of your scan, make sure that you have sent it. At the top half, all of these cases that are in progress, they're gonna stay there literally forever until you delete it or send the scan. So I can tap right on the scan. You will see that we have the option to delete over here to the right. If I wanted to continue scanning, maybe if I didn't get a chance to finish or if you wanted to view what you've scanned, you can do that as well, along with going into the RX. Now once your case has been sent, it's gonna drop down to the lower half right here in your past orders and it's gonna stay listed there for about 60 days. After that time, you will notice the names will start to drop off the list just so you don't have to scroll through hundreds of patients uh, you know, to find your most recently sent, sent scans. Typically, after, after that time period, your case has already been delivered. So if you do need to re-access any of those scans that have been previous to that date, 
you can always find all of those uh, scans in your patient's icon. Now with all of your cases that have been sent, we can tap on the scan and you will get all of the same options as you did when we tapped on the order in the patient's icon. So here's a second area where you can view the model, view the Rx, possibly run the Invisalign Outcome Simulator, uh, the Progress Assessment, and the AdRx as well. Now to close, I can again tap on my home screen icon. So the last icon left to cover is the new scan. So with new scan, we're going to talk about some charting. To chart for your new patient, you can tap on the patient's first and last name. I'm going to put test in today. Now if you do have any patients that have a hyphened uh, last name, for example, you'll notice if I do try putting a space, we will have, a, the text will turn red, we have a reminder saying that we have some invalid characters. So you can back arrow to get rid of the space and if you do need to enter a hyphen, you can do that within your characters. Now underneath there we have the option for your chart number. So if you're using a practice management software that identifies your patient through a specific number, please provide that here in the chart number. Uh, if you are not using chart numbers, you do have the option of putting in the patient's birth date as well. Now for practice scanning, in your case types, you may want to use iRecord or Invisalign Plus iRecord for today. Now that we've completed this review of your scanner, you've got three things to do. Number one, complete the online interactive training. Number two, Partner up with a coworker and practice scanning as much as possible. Number three, send those scans and then write down the case ID number so you can discuss these cases with your clinical trainer during your next session. And remember, always have fun. Happy scanning.